What's up, everyone? Welcome to OMG Let's Talk. We are talking about 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, all the way up to season eight. The second episode just aired, and we are going to cover Liz and Ed. They're back. They're back. Who would have thought Liz? Oh, my God. OMG. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OMG. Who would have thought Liz and Ed? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I got you, baby. I got you. So they moved to Arkansas. They've been together for three years at this point, engaged for two. And they have Liz's daughter Riley over for the summer only mm-hmm. while they are getting their shit together. And they're about to get married in two months. And they actually set a date. So that means they set out they cards, set all this shit. And they're doing it. Mm-hmm. They should have everything. He keeps saying it's an expensive wedding, but I'm like, shouldn't you have like everything already booked? And if it's only two months out, three years engaged for two, we have finally set a wedding date. In two months, we are getting married. Holy, <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, it sounds about right to fucking everyone. What the hell are you fucking people doing? You're crazy, Liz. You're crazy. Run, run, run. Blink mm. twice. I don't know about <sighs> this couple, this whole relationship. Yeah, Ed is trying to say their vigorous uh, therapy in Florida really helped them too, and getting away and not thinking about anyone and making them stronger. But also, we're finding out that Ed has no job or income, and he's basically in super debt right now. And he hasn't told Liz. Yeah, yeah super fun. What? Oh my goodness, I just blinked and you're all done. <laughs> I'm good at making bracelets. Hey, does this look no weird? Bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but oh, Ed's sick ass bracelet. Ed's bracelet is actually pretty creative. I did like it. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. But Liz was like, I love when Ed is, um, you know, sweet with my child, which yeah. is probably when what? he is sweet. And as Bye. And that's gonna be and you're all done. Okay. The music. I'm gonna be your, gonna be your stepdad. Um, okay. <laughs> Would you be okay with that? No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pinky promise? Why? Because she's a child, and the children do. Because I love you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. You know how awkward it is as a kid. Mm. I mean. The Ed can't turn. Oh, oh. but still, she was like, just, okay, did you get that? Doubt. She's like, you got it, right? <laughs> still pretty cute of her. She's cute. Yeah. Riley's cute. Well, yeah, nothing wrong with the kids ever. They're the victims it's here. It's a big deal to yeah. commit to be with this person for the rest of your life. Okay. And I've been through a divorce. Two months out. This has been through two. So <laughs> okay, it's bitch, not something like you're that better. we want to do again. <laughs> But yeah, he's still in his interview saying how scared he is and how he doesn't know if he's making the right decision. And, and how he's even still like, dude, talking you're down two, about Liz. You're like, two months out, dude. You're two months out to the wedding. Yeah. This... And look at them in their interview when they're sitting side by side. I mean, the height difference and like how they look With is unreal to me. <laughs> she's, look, she's looking more and more like Ed every day. Not just the weight gain, but like even like I don't know, the smirkiness and it the face. Off. Yeah, I don't know. She's going to start saying stupid jokes, too. She probably already does. She does. And she probably doesn't even know it. Okay, well, so let's go back a little bit. Sorry. So at this point, we find out Ed and Liz want to do real estate together. Mm-hmm. They have the daughter Riley come up and be, but, in, be a pretend real client. Real it's kind of cute. Would you like to buy a house? Yes. I'm That's Ed. Hard. Very nice to meet you. Your hands are very cold. And <laughs> this is my fiance. <laughs> also known as Liz and Mommy. I need some power. Um, it's kind of an open plan he's format. He's very terrible at it. We have I can tell you. He's bad. He's terrible. In our gourmet kitchen. This is a four bedroom, two bath. Like she, you say um, we have this beautiful, backyard. spacious living room with uh-huh. the open kitchen that you can enjoy while you cook or having... As well as air conditioning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, really like, trying to just remember. Like He's not but there yet. When you sell a house, don't you go room to room and then we you explain the what it has? Like you it's go to the AC unit oriented. and you're like, well, it has this. Great schools, you go to the laundry room um, and then you're biking like, trails. 
This, and Liz is always like, hey, he's so good at sales, so we'll be okay. Yeah, no. They're yeah. going to do terrible. Because they, they go and talk about the time that Ed took her out with his photography thing, and they fought the whole time. They're like, no, we're going to work good together. I'm good with the paperwork. Well, Liz she said we're going to be sales. equals this time. <laughs> yeah. I he's good like with real talking. I it would be a good business to go into with each other, but I'm also nervous because we've tried to work together. What, what I'm doing. doing. No, oh, no. Okay. So. Oh, sorry, babe. This is not good. And Ed has so many strengths in sales. Why does he have strengths in sales? Where Wait, did that even back. come from? And I'm really good at the contracts, the budget, the fine details. So all of the work. Ed is a social <laughs> butterfly is what we she said. We are both yeah. going to bring something to the table. Okay. Yeah, pretty crazy. Mm hmm Them in business and knowing I that do. their marriage is not going to... Be okay on top I, I of it. it. Kind of weird. It's gonna be a tough relationship, huh? It's gonna be really hard. And this is where he goes on. To... Go back a little bit. Arkansas. We've kind of been living off savings. Big house. You know, a lot of expenses. And, yeah, you guys don't really make I mean, the we have a big smartest wedding not only to plan for, sure. but to pay for. Oh, can I we pause it? I forgot. We didn't get the timestamp, but we forgot to mention. At some point in Liz's interview, she does say that she did turn out, turn um, turn down her partnership in a contract. Yeah, well, she was there for a minute. She said she left it. Like, she left the job. She had to leave her to part with her partnership. Like, wow. Part? I thought she even said turn down. No, I think she originally took it for a know. little bit. Maybe you're right. Either way, she's not there at the, the restaurant. And it's... Lost a really good opportunity. And they... They could have been living in San Diego comfortably, probably, with her partnership. Possibly, yeah. It's if, a pretty busy... A it's bit, one yeah. of the busiest areas in San Diego, and it's constantly... I'm mean, like, just... not even. You don't even need regulars there. People will just go, because it's... We're in a hot spot. Yeah. It's in, like... It's called North Park, and it's where all the breweries and pubs are. Everything and all is. the college kids and... Yeah. All the tools. Brunches popping, lunch, dunch, cunch. And? No. We did go over there. No! Oh, pause it. We're done. <laughs> You're not. Hi. He's not supposed to. Shush. We're right, ending it. Right. Bye, guys. This is the best wedding possible, and I don't really want to tell her that we're underwater right now. Cool. So I'm really feeling not the pressure. Cool. <laughs> he's so <laughs> shitty. God. Yeah, he's shitty. So, yep, they're getting supposed to have a wedding in two months. They have no money. They're trying to be real estate agents. That they have no idea what they're doing. Haven't even had a first sale yet. I don't know what they're doing. They don't talk about if they have houses on the market or who they're working for, whose house they're going to sell. It makes no sense. And none of it makes sense. I have no idea where they are. I, I and know. unfortunately, they're not the most popular know people are. in the 90 day Arkansas. universe. So, like I said, they're not getting that good exercise. They're not money. getting no social media money. Nobody's paying them for any kind of money. No cameos. Their promise. No shame. <laughs> It's going to be rough. And they're already talking about investing in billboards and stuff. A billboard for like a month is like, well, I don't know about in Arkansas, but in San Diego, it's fucking expensive. Yeah, they're acting like they're like going to hop in and be these big shot realtors, like billboards and it's this like and big that. Big Ed and Liz. Yeah, Big Ed and Liz. Like, we can get billboards. You guys need to start from ground zero like first. fucking Better Call Saul. Dude. No, Better Call Saul is way better. Yeah, way, way, way cooler. I'm talking about marketing wise, wow. and he's just not going to be able to. He can Perform. only do because he's not cool like Better Call Saul. That's my point. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Call Saul. <laughs> really appreciate all the subscribers, likes, and all that. Keep them coming. Share the videos. Like us on Twitch. We would like to get on there live a little bit more to do the tell alls. Appreciate everyone and everything. See you later in the 90 day universe. See ya.